Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. All right, so for the last video, I showed you guys how to take a data log and upload it to your tuner and maybe even just open it up just to see what's going on. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will post a link to it in the description as well as try to tag it here on the video. So this one, I'm gonna show you guys how to understand what you're looking at with those data logs as well as just some very basic stuff like engine RPM, uh, your boost, coolant temperature maybe, and uh, trans turbine speed just to kind of see what the transmission is doing at that point. So let's go ahead and uh, get into the computer with the Live Link Gen 2 software. So here we go. Hey guys. All right. Now that we have the Live Link Gen 2 software opened up and you guys know how to capture a data log as well as either open it or save it and send it off to your tuner, we're going to go ahead and actually open up the data log, try to take a look at what's going on and just review the basics. So what we're going to do is with the Live, Gen Live Link Gen 2 software open, we're going to do, I want to open a data log file. And this is where you select the data log file that you had on your desktop uh, from the previous video. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. I'll, link, I'll put a link in the description down below. But we're going to open up the uh, my E30 performance tune. All right, so with it open and loaded, you'll see a bunch of stuff up here. And <laughs> don't pay attention to this. This is not readable. You can't understand this with, with so much selected and everything's just crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the bottom left. It looks like a pencil. And we're going to click on this. This is to uncheck everything except the first item here, which is the accelerator pedal position. And let's just say I want to take a look at uh, the boost and the RPMs and maybe even the what the transmission was doing in terms of changing gears so we're going to select boost and we're going to scroll down we're going to select rpm and we're going to select uh, trans turbine speed now if you're wondering what these little dips are this is the transmission changing gears so just a quick example we have no speed and then it jumps all the way up once I launch the car this is first gear and then this is the one to two change drops down into second gear second gear pulls up to third changes over to third gear <clears throat> and this right here this is the third gear pull this one right here and then it changes into the fourth gear and then this is the fourth gear pull so whatever parameter you select is going to be the prominent one that's going to be highlighted. So keep that in mind. You can also hear, see here in these columns the value of whatever PID you selected. You got the minimum, the very lowest this parameter was, the highest the parameter was, and the average. So we're going to take a look at the RPM and the boost. So here's the RPMs. Uh, the yellow is the boost, the blue here is the accelerator pedal, and this looks like a red or orange color, that is the trans turbine speed. This green one here, this olive colored green, is the RPMs, and we're going to go ahead and try to figure out what boost we were at when we launched the car. So, we can help you, I'll help you guys figure this out. So remember, this yellow line here is the boost, okay? And this orange, this uh, green here is the RPMs. So mainly what you're looking for is a sudden spike from something that's low to almost a vertical line and then continues on to kind of start the graph. So I usually launch my car at 2,500 RPMs and knowing that, we can actually take a look at 2500 here. And this is where the actual boost starts to begin. So we'll look at the boost in PSI here. This is just fluctuations because I'm prepping the car to launch. Uh, I come to a complete stop and I give it some gas, let off the brake just a little bit for the car to roll, and then I hit the brake again. And then I've stabbed the throttle. And then I let go of the brake and it launches the car. It goes from vacuum all the way up to <laughs> zero pounds of boost. 
I actually thought it was a lot more than that. So this is me learning this for the first time with you guys. And launch, it starts at zero. And then it shoots up all the way to 19 PSI, almost 19 PSI. And then after the gear changes, it goes to 22. And then it kind of stays at like 18 or 19 PSI throughout the run after the gear changes. So that's pretty cool to see. And if you guys want to take a look at your peak boost, all you have to do is come down here, make sure this is highlighted, and you're going to see your max boost of 22.5 pounds. Almost 22.5 pounds. Pretty cool. And if you guys also want, you can take a look at the intake air temperatures as well. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, it starts at 95 degrees, uh, which is probably a little bit more ambient temperature, if I'm not mistaken, depending on when I did this run. And then it just <laughs> it just skyrockets towards the end of my and I want to take a look at the boost and nothing else so we're gonna deselect everything and this is here so this is the time when I launch this is when I stab the throttle let go of the brake and it starts building up boost and so I have the Boomba Racing blow off valve on there right now and it appears to me looking at this graph that the boost is lower in the higher rpms and we'll just open up the rpms as well uh, this is kind of hard to read but you can kind of put two and two together i mean they don't directly overlap but we can look at the boost here at the top and as the rpms climb into the higher rpms we are dropping boost peak boost is at the top of the gear change so this is first gear into second gear drops as soon as second gear begins the boost peaks and then it goes into third which peaks the boost and then third gear pull peaks the boost drops and then it goes across at the end of fourth so what I actually think I'm gonna do looking at this graph now and understanding what the car is doing is I'll have to invest in a I believe it's a GFB bypass valve that's from what I read online that's supposed to hold the boost higher uh, hold more boost in the higher RPMs than factory so I want to keep that boost as high as I can and this is pretty cool because we can actually test this out with a data log and we can actually see the difference how it performs if it actually does or not so hopefully this graph here will actually be one or two PSI higher in higher RPMs and if you guys data log, it's pretty cool to see the actual results of your data log and the parts that you put on. Um, this is pretty much a guy's basic stuff here. Uh, if you guys want to read into figuring out what all these other PIDs mean for your application, that's perfectly fine. That's up to you. Uh, the more you know, the better off you'll be. All right, so that was pretty much it, guys. Pretty simple, uh, pretty easy to understand, just the basics of it. So if you guys uh, don't really have too much information on the rest of the PIDs or the rest of the parameters, by all means, go ahead and look at that and research it to see what they are and what they do, as well as don't be afraid to kind of dive deep and ask questions about anything. Uh, like I said before, I don't really know too too much about those all those different parameters and stuff like that. I just kind of know the basics. But if you have any questions on anything and if it helped you out better understand the data logs and what the car is doing, let me know down below. I'll be more than happy to help you out and answer any questions you may have. And it's always good to be a little bit more educated on what the cars are doing. It's better off for anybody. And go ahead and share this video if you need, um, you know, if you have any buddies or anything like that that need help understanding their data logs or whatever, or just general knowledge. Uh, I'll be more than happy to help everybody out. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a great day.